So today we're going to check out the market cap, Bitcoin, the biggest gainers and losers for the past seven days, a coin that had their testnet go live today. And we're going to go look at that testnet and then my coin score sheet and then two pieces of crypto news that I feel is relevant and actually pretty important. Let's get started. Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. First, before we begin, I want to thank all my new people that have come into my Discord and have personally PM'd me with suggestions, information that they have, or news. I appreciate all of you. Also, the Facebook group is growing significantly and I appreciate all you people that are joining that and participating. It's awesome just to see our community come together. Don't forget to smash that like button everyone and if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to smash that subscribe button also. So let's check out the market cap. So we're down to 336 billion. This may have to do with some big news that came out today, which we will discuss later. And we still haven't reached the February 6th market cap, which was 276 billion. So I'm actually not too worried yet. And I do believe it does have to do with the news. Now, as you can see the market, everything is super down. Bitcoin is at 8,300. And if you look at their seven day chart, you can see it goes from about 10, down to 85 95 down to 85 back up to 10 down to 9000 so if you were trading this you could have made a lot of money which i personally do not mess with at all it's way too much time way too much energy and it's way too stressful to play the market with day trading i know several people do this and it's not for me now let's check out the biggest gainers and losers i do not care about the one hour i always look at the 24 hour and the seven day see power ledgers on here one of the coins we care about invest feeds on here that's good to see not a huge gain though so the seven day nucleus vision now i did talk against how they did the icos but i still like the coin and i still think it has great potential if it goes down i will be looking to jump into this one substratums on here that's good to see they have some news that's been going out and I think will continue to go out. I need to check out that a little bit more. The 24 hour for the losers though, we have Axpire, of course. God, that's stressful. Open Trading Network, Substratum here too, Lambden. Let's check out the seven day, anything significant here? Doesn't real. so CP Chain, Lambden. So CP Chain, I do wanna to talk to you guys about. This one came out in my little group of people I talked to were super excited, wanna jump into the pre-sale. I did not jump into the pre-sale and this one could be a complete sleeper. So check this out. Website is super Asian or Chinese and very limited information. Last time I checked, it looks like they've actually added a lot more info. Check this out, see if you like it. If you guys are interested, I will do a coin analysis on this one. It came out at around, the top was almost 40 cents and it's down to 11 cents right now. So this could be a great time to jump in. Let me know what you think. Now let's go check out a coin. I'm super excited to tell you about that had some big news that has happened recently. Next, I wanna to talk to you about Aeon. So Aeon recently, released their test net 20 hours ago this tweet came out you can go and check it out here it is pretty easy to understand a lot of information here simplified beautiful i really like this setup if you know anything about other dashboards this one's beautiful compared to those <laughs> it's awesome to see that aeon is doing things icon wan chain and aeon the big three for that ethereum alliance they're progressing well and they're making moves. Always great to see. Next, let's look at my coin score sheet. Like I said, this is completely separate from the ICO score sheet. These are gonna be established coins that are already doing their thing, already have the partnerships, already have hopefully their coin doing things. So we're gonna be looking at a variety of things, super similar to the ICO score sheet, but a lot more detail. So we're gonna have an overall score which will decide what each one is rated or how much they're weighed. We're gonna have the market cap, and their volume, I have not added this yet. I'm trying to find out how I can put it in this Excel sheet so it changes in real time so that the score is always evolving. We have the token price already on here. As you can see, we have the formula for this. Circulating supply, I'm gonna manually put these in. The percentage from the circulating supply to the total supply. We're gonna look at their team, their advisors, 
and this is really going to compare to some of the best coins out there because we're going to put ethereum on here we're going to put bitcoin on here we're going to put all the big projects so it's going to be really hard to have a top score for team and advisors so i do expect a lot of lower scores but it doesn't mean they're bad we're going to be looking at multipliers or the multiplier potential the impact like i said the project type their partners so we're going to compare partners icon ethereum have some of the best partners out there so this is going to be another hard stat to actually get a top score on competition are they at the top of their competition in terms of overall project like ethereum is obviously at their top i honestly believe dragon chain is doing great and they might not be at the top but they're at least above average then their roadmap what are they doing do they have their test net their the exchange for that particular project is it coming out within the next three months or are they taking years to bring this out and then any red flags for example do they not have any team that's being shown or they haven't even had a prototype out yet so little things like that and then we'll have the the red flags detailed right next to it so we can get more information and you can see what's going on or what we think are issues within this project now like i said i want to add as much information as possible to try to make this as accurate as possible so all your suggestions are welcomed and of course this is super alpha but we will be working hard on this to get this out and updated as soon as possible and then once we got the score sheet it should it should be fairly easy to fill this in with as many projects as possible it's just going to take a lot of research for each one but that's what i'm here for right <laughs> Now let's check out my crypto news that I really want to talk to you guys about. So our first set of news, and I'm sure many of you have seen this, Google says it will ban cryptocurrency ads. So I actually see this as a positive and a negative, but a much more positive if they're doing what I think they're doing. So as the article says, Google says it will ban the cryptocurrency ads starting in June as part of an effort to clear unregulated financial products off of its platform. So these are similar steps that Facebook took so it's actually not really surprising. The ban applies to ads that promote cryptocurrencies, exchanges, and ICOs. So the ban isn't only for crypto though. It will also include other risky financial products like binary options, which offers investors all or nothing returns. That one's obvious. So this is obviously Google trying to prevent scammers from getting to us. So I don't really mind this and I'm wondering if this will stop the ridiculous amount of spammers on exchanges such as Binance.com that we see and people are able to get hacked or they throw their credentials into this, this website because they think it's the right one because it's at the top of the Google because it's an ad. So I'm hoping this will stop all those, those hackers or whatever you want to call them. And if it is, that is awesome and it's a huge plus for cryptocurrency in general. And I love the idea. Next, let's talk about Barclay striking a banking deal with major cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase. So Coinbase obtained a bank account with the UK bank lender Barclays. This marks the first major partnership between a UK bank and a cryptocurrency exchange. So what does this mean for their users? This means faster payments, simplifying the process of topping up and withdrawing money from Coinbase for UK users. Previously, the transactions were processed through an Estonian bank, which took several days. A quote from the CEO of Coinbase, Zestan Feroz. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> so he said, UK customers will benefit from faster, safe, and seamless bank transfers. And we will start with a pilot giving a small number of institutional users access to faster payments. And in the coming weeks, we'll begin rolling out to all UK customers, making the Coinbase experience increasingly easier. So we obviously know that there are some FUD coming out of England lately. So we obviously know that there has been some FUD coming out of England lately with the Bank of England's governor calling for greater regulation on crypto, which most of us continue to hear and most of us continue to actually agree with. So a lot of people attribute regulations with FUD, but the more and more we see this manipulation, the more we, I believe, it's actually necessary. So while Barclays is one of the largest UK banks they're more open to engaging with crypto with its UK chief executive, Astok, I don't know if I said that right, <laughs> saying they will they are talking to financial technology firms and the regulators about bringing virtual currencies into play. So of course we all love hearing this and I'm particularly excited to see if Barclays can kind of pave the way for the other big banks to jump on board. And if so, finally we can start getting the banks aboard, mass adoption, and the market will hopefully just take off. 
Anyways, that's my video. Give me your opinions. What do you think of my score sheet, the crypto news, and just everything in general? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.